Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making some basic AI uh, vehicles. Uh, so let's just get right into it. It's going to be a very simple tutorial. First off, let's actually get a, a vehicle. So I'm just going to switch up symbol, car, since that is going to be very good for us. <clears throat> Give me a simple vehicle, not so many parts. Uh, this is a good one. Um, let us group it so it's better. Name it whatever you want. Name it car. And yeah, just gonna stay there. And we can just drive it if you want. Except now we gotta actually make it AI. So what we wanna do is we're gonna first have to load up a script. Uh, inside the script, we'll just make some local parts, such as the car parts. So we're gonna do. So we're gonna do local uh, seats equals script dot parent um, dot vehicle seat and that's where we're going to mostly get all of our AI stuff from because if you go into the vehicle seat and you go down to the properties uh, if you go down to the actual seat options you would see throttle uh, and then you can see some turn speed and everything that's what we're going to be mostly using to make these vehicles uh, move and let's now get into it. So we're gonna do uh, just basic when the vehicle starts off. So we're just gonna do um, seat. Nope, not that. Seat dot seat dot throttle um, equals. And we're just gonna do one because then that'll be simple. And then if you just go to test view and we just run it. We should see that vehicle should be moving. There we go. The vehicle is now moving forward and it's about to fall off the edge of the map. Uh, except now we can actually make the vehicle turn. And that's actually a very, uh, another simple process that we can do. So, uh, the most simple way I found it is if we just make a new part, make it wide. So it's going to be like one of those parts that the car can detect. Uh, it's going to be like an on touch event that we're going to do with the vehicle. And just make it big as possible um make it whatever color you want i'll make it pink yeah pink it's okay and then over here the most important part is to disable collide so the vehicle cannot collide with it but it can still be able to touch it and we're going to go back into our vehicle script and okay we're going to have to make the vehicle hit the uh, wall. So which part do we want it to hit? We're going to actually hit uh, the base over here because it's going to be better for the base. So let's actually find the base and let's rename it body. A uh, simple name for the body. And let's go back to the script and then we can also use start making our function. So now for the function we're going to do script dot parent dot body uh, dot touched. Uh, and we're going to do a connect function that we're going to put function and we're actually going to name the function which I'm going to uh, just put in hit turn there it goes something simple like that now if you do it in you should be able to create a function and then if the hit turn dot name uh, equals so we're going to call it turn oh oopsie turn Then we want to print to make sure that this script's actually working. So we're going to do a print function. Oopsie, did not mean to do that. Go inside the uh, print, and we're going to print turn. That's simple. Why do I keep misspelling turn? Uh oh. So then over here, then we're actually going to make the vehicle turn. So what we're going to do is going to, we're going to name a seat. Nope. Why do I keep doing that? Script. Ah. Oh seat dot uh what, what was it called it's called steel steer yeah i'm gonna put uh how much you want to steer for a amount of this time so then we're gonna i'm just gonna put this because i've done it before and i think it's a good number i'm gonna do a weight function we're gonna do 1.5 um and then i'm gonna change the seat dot the seat dot uh steer 
equals zero. And since we named this turn, because uh, this is finding an object uh, in the uh, anywhere in the workspace named turn, so we have to actually got to tell the script that hey, this thing is called turn. So now let's just re all we gotta do is just rename this turn, and that's good. And now let's test it to actually make sure that I do this correctly. Uh oh. That's one thing you gotta remember, everyone. <laughs> you got to uh, anchor everything, because if you don't, then everything just falls to the map and nothing is good. Now, if it hits it, it should turn. There we go. So, I just woke up today's uh, example over here. I just uh, took this exam example. Yeah. I just took this example over here to show how the vehicle just moves around. You can just make like an AI system just like that. Uh, but you do have to mess around with the variables a little bit and get the variables that's good for the vehicle because this vehicle is getting a, a kind of like an offset uh, every time it does a turn you have to make sure everything will line up correctly uh, that's the only thing you have to do and since the you might think that it's going to be bad because now you have all these uh, pillars setting up in your game but what you could actually do is just take all of them and just make it um, just turn off the transparency and there you go you said they were never were there and this car is just moving by itself. Oh, oops, I'm already in game. Well, as you can see, the car is still moving around. But, uh, it's, by now it looks like it's by itself, just moving around just like that. Uh, that was just a really simple, uh, thing car to do. You can also do more stuff if you would like. Uh, this is just the basics. I have a little bit more complicated stuff. Uh, you can get such as, uh, cars working with traffic lights. Uh, it may be like player, uh, if the player goes in front of the car, the car will stop, stuff like that. Uh, but if you want to see that, uh, I don't know if you want to see that, I'm just going to do a basic uh, tutorial, but if you do want to see that, please leave a comment down below. Uh, and maybe like the video, and then we can hopefully get another, uh, another tutorial out there. Uh, if you, if you also need help with something else or anything, uh, just leave a comment in the description below, and hopefully we can maybe make a tutorial that can help you with that. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, see you on the next video. Bye now.